to my channel today we are making vanilla sponge cake and it's a very easy recipe by the way and we are not making it on the inside the oven we are going to use our gas or you can use charcoal whichever you like or whichever your preference is but today we are going to make a very yummy recipe uh, we have a few ingredients here we are going to use three cups of our self-raising flour you can mix your flour from scratch or you can decide to take the pre-mixed flour we are going to have four eggs but today i'm going to use only two we are going to use half a cup of oil but today i'm going to use margarine i like using prestige for my baking a lot we are going to use three quarter cup of sugar uh, you can use uh, any other type of sugar you want or it depends with your preference and we also have vanilla essence here with us and we are also going to add milk so right into our recipe my recipe we start with uh, the margarine we take the margarine and pour it into the, the, the bowl this is half a cup of margarine then we will measure our sugar we need three quarter cups of sugar but it depends with your preference also so we are going to use uh, this is uh, I have my measuring cups here we are going to use this quarter so we are going to assume three quarters make uh, three uh, no three quarters make three quarter yes so we are we are just going to measure into this measuring cup we are going to measure this is a quarter then we are going to have another we are going to have another quarter it depends with your preference and the the and it also depends on the amount of sugar you love in your cake after adding these ones we are going to mix them together we are going to make sure they mix very very well very well so that it brings such such a consistency because the mixing starts here if you don't mix here very well you're going to get a very nice spongy cake and already we are making a sponge cake so we are going to the next step is to add our eggs our eggs we are going to add them one at a time while we mix with the rest of the ingredient of the wet ingredients that is the first egg we are going to mix it gently till they mix very well with the rest of the ingredients mix very very well very well until you make sure it's very mixed very nicely we have to mix it very nicely we are going to put in the next egg this is our second egg i preferred using two eggs but you can use any number of eggs you prefer we are going to make sure our second egg is well mixed very well mixed into the other ingredients very well you see this kind of consistency we need the sugar to mix with the margarine then we add in the eggs and it's just a it's just a nice consistency we are going to dig in next with our vanilla essence this santa maria essence oh it works so perfectly we are going to use one teaspoonful half teaspoonful of the vanilla essence oh my vanilla is over we are going to mix well this is my own steps you can also use the steps that you like uh, we all have different ways of doing this is my own way of doing the cake butter so you can do whichever you prefer 
after the essence we are going to bring in our milk just to bring in the taste together we will put the milk we we'll put the milk and mix it very very well make sure the consistency is the same on all sides As we are trying to mix our consistency, we are going to put away our dirty utensils. We mix it very nicely. As you can see, we have a same, con almost same consistency here. Then it will be time to add our flour. We add it slowly, slowly until we get in the desired consistency. Our butter is getting its consistency. You can see it's the same consistency. Now th these measuring cups, by the way, these measuring cups are so nice. They make you have the right quantity of everything that you need rather than just putting in everything. So this is one cup. It measures one cup. So we are going to use three cups of self-raising flour as we had said. So, we're going to bring in our flour, then take it, our consistency is ready, you can see we have the same, same consistency. So we are going to take in our flour, we're just going to make sure it's lined at the top of the measuring cup, then we're just going to mix it very slowly until we get our desired consistency so that it mixes well with the other wet ingredients so that our cake will be that cake you really wanted on a weekend on a calm day and you have no excuse not to make cake at home by the way this is a very easy recipe and again you don't need you don't need a an oven you can just use your gas or your charcoal anything you please we are going to try and make this flour mix very very well just going to make it mix very very well can see it's mixing so we are going to add more flour going to mix it nicely nicely remember to fold it remember to fold the flour so that it gets into the other ingredients nicely so that we can have a very nice consistency very nice one when the consi consistency is getting out of hand you can keep adding your milk you can keep adding your milk slowly by slowly as you can see it's a very easy process our butter is becoming thicker and thicker, so we are just going to add a little milk just to balance up everything. You can remember the traditional days. We used to make cake with charcoal. It was an era of no ovens, no nothing. You just had... You just wanted to have that feeling of a cake then you used to use the three stones and we just we still used to eat cake so what is wrong with you making some cake at home you're going to add more flour this is our second cup of the flour and just i'm just making sure it's all lined
have our right consistency over here so i told you people earlier that we are going to use the the cooker to bake our cake so right now we are going this is just a sphuria that i used to melt the margarine so right now we are just going to line the sphuria with some margarine so that the cake doesn't stick on it this is what we're just going to do right now as you can see it is very well lined very very well lined so i'm going to keep this huh? then you can see our consistency it's the very right consistency to use when making when baking our cake so the next thing we are going to pour the butter into our tin let's say baking tin but as you can see it's a sufuria so we are just going to bring in our consistency wow just see it's very very consistent i love it our cake is going to be the best cake the best cake as you can see it's a very nice consistency it's going to bring out the yumminess in this cake eh? as you can see you can also make uh, this for your family just to make them happy to cheer them up it's fine it's a very nice recipe and I'll leave the recipe in the description box and if you want to ask me anything you can ask me on the comment section don't forget to like subscribe share liking our channel helps us grow because it will be recommended to other people this one already we are done transferring our butter we're just clearing up everything as i told you people earlier we were going to use our cooker to bake the cake so one thing is just to make sure that our heat is going to be very very low so that our cake does not get there when it's burnt to a level of the heat that you're supposed to have it should be very very low and our our sphuria has been preheating we just put the salt in five then we have our tripod over there that tripod is the one going to hold our butter so it's just we are just trying to be creative and make things out of small things so that's the consistency as i've shown you so we are going to bring in our butter this is our butter as you had seen earlier we've we've just put our butter inside the preheated sufuria and we are just going to cover up everything we all know that uh, our cakes need to be in an airtight condition so we are just going to use this clear clear lid so that we can see what's going on inside there and we are going to bake for around 45 to 50 minutes max so that we get back when our cake is ready as you people can see my cake is already here and we just want to open and put it to cool so that we can get to eat our cake as you people can as you people can see our cake is ready and here it is oh just look at it so brown it has just turned that golden smartly like i just love this cake so it's time for us to just cut it as you people can see the outcome of our cake is so sweet like i just told you this cake is going to be so yummy and you're going to love it just see just see just see it's just very 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 spongy eh? can you see so spongy i love it if you want to get a cake like this one just like subscribe share and you can get a bite you never know so that's the end of our video remember to like to subscribe and to share to my channel thank you bye bye